Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the George Meyer Show, where our purpose here is to investigate, evaluate, and inform to show you what's going on, because we want you in charge, and that's the way you're going to get in charge, is to find out what's going on. At any rate, today we're talking about, uh, we're going to talk about elections. Uh, I have with me, uh, my guest today is Ken Brown, who is a downtown businessman and a representative of Citizens for Responsible Government. We have a lot of aldermen running. Uh, we have most of the races are being challenged. We have two ca uh, challengers to the mayor's race. We have two new county executive, uh, or, the, or Bill McReynolds is retired, so we have some county executive races, some school board races, lots of things happening in the political arena. But right now, we're going to look at um, mostly aldermanic races, I would say, with you, right, Ken? Yes, sir. So tell us a little bit about uh, Citizens for Responsible Government. Citizens for Responsible Government Overseen Chapter just was created a few months ago as a way for us to address and focus on our politics um, on mostly local races, uh, things like the school board, things like the county races, as well as, of course, the aldermanic and mayoral races. Uh, it gives us a chance to um, endorse candidates. It gives us a chance to... Um, focus like a laser beam on the three or four things that are most important to us, which we're going to talk a little bit more here about uh, with our pledge that we've created. Um, but the little quick history on Citizens for Responsible Government. Back in about 10 years ago, when they had the uh, Tom Ament pension scandal up in Milwaukee, you may recall a group called Citizens for Responsible Government was created up there. And rather than reinvent the wheel, I contacted some of those people and they said, sure, we would love to have a, a branch down in Racine. And so they basically came in and we followed their template. Um, it's a loosely organized group, much like some of the Tea Party groups. And they're also primarily focused on just fiscal issues rather than on uh, getting into a lot of social uh, issues and so forth. It's primarily focused on how we make our government work responsibly, do the job that they're supposed to do constitutionally or under municipal ordinance without getting the government too big and too involved in every part and every aspect of our lives. All right, so um, the interesting thing is I want to get into this pledge okay. because uh, we, we've got a lot of aldermanic candidates up and and um, the pledge is basically three things, all right? It's uh, balance the budget, uh, no new taxes or fees, and uh, no new regulations. Uh, all been, right. I've been here since the middle 80s for the most part and we seem to have taken the wrong approach for many, many of those years and it's time to turn that turn and try something different. So that's where we're focused on that. And we've also seen many instances, of, or too many instances, let's put it that way, of businesses trying to start up and then they run into the bureaucracy here. Mm -hmm. uh, not to mention the concern with once you're here and you finally get open, will you be able to pay the taxes? Right. You know, so will you be able to run your business and make a profit and pay the taxes and the people you want to pay? What are we looking for when we talk to these aldermen? Mm -hmm. 